Everybody, this is the seventh video recording, I guess, maybe eighth. I don't, I'm losing track, so I apologize. Um, as you can see, we're not in my apartment. We're actually on the road to the library. I am driving down the 101. Being in California, I have to call it the 101, not 101. I don't know why that is, but I'm driving down 101, which is a highway going towards Mountain View to go to the library. That's what I'm planning on doing today. I got up today feeling okay, but I could feel the lingering poking of the depression coming on, so I decided I was just going to try to be proactive and get out the door as quickly as possible. Um, granted, I was a little sluggish at doing that. I, don't, I didn't get out the door until uh, 12.30, even though I got up about an hour or so before that. Yes, I sleep until about 10 or 11. Which may sound like a pleasure, and it is in a sense that I'm actually waking up naturally rather than at the sound of an alarm, but uh, that also includes tossing and turning until like, I go to bed at, uh, last night I went to bed at, uh, let's say 9, it might have been earlier than that, but I went to bed at 9. I tossed and turned and looked at the clock and it was 11. And then I tossed and turned and eventually fell asleep, so I'm assuming I fell asleep around 1 in the morning. So waking up at 10 o'clock is really not that great, considering that I'm not falling asleep until 2 in the morning or 1 in the morning. Which is a real pain in the ass, mind you. So yeah, I'm going to the Mountain View Library to read. That's part of the process of getting out. It's sunny out. So hopefully I'm absorbing some of the vitamin D from the sun while I'm in my car. That's one of the things that I'm supposed to be doing is getting some sun so that I can absorb the healthy nutrients of the sunlight like I'm some sort of plant. I haven't uh, haven't gotten the whole uh, osmosis thing down yet so I'm still working on that. So yeah, um, I'm feeling okay today. Not really sure what to record. I apologize for the bouncing camera, but the arm thing that's stuck to the windshield isn't exactly the most steady. Uh, someone, a friend of mine, had suggested that I turn this into a question and an answer scenario where um, any of you out there ask a question and then I record a response. And I always feel arrogant by doing a question and answer thing because it implies that I'm important, that you want to know about me, you know, it's, that's never the inter that's never the case, I never really mean to imply that, so if that's what it comes off as, I apologize, it's not my intention, it's just, it's an idea of something to do as far as uh, content for these videos. Um, went to my therapist yesterday, I was feeling decent yesterday. My therapist thinks that the medication is starting to kick in and do its job, so that might be why I'm feeling okay. So he thinks I may have turned a corner with the depression in terms of the medication and its treatment. And to answer Tara's question, because she had asked a question about the price of my medication, $2,500 is for a month, a single month medication. Not for a year, a single month. So that's why it's really super expensive. It's insane. And sadly, the stuff that I'm taking doesn't have any generics. So, what are you going to do? However, um, and for anybody else in the United States and other places that have high, well, except for those of you in Canada. Well, no, I mean, hell, even if you're in Canada. Um, if you have high prices for your medication, uh, there's a website that you can look up called Canada RX. Just do a Google search for it. It's like CanadaRx.com or .net, I think, is the actual website. I don't know that for certain. But uh, I looked at the prices that they have listed for the medication that I need. And holy shit, where it costs $2,000 at the, at the uh, pharmacy for my Abilify, it only costs $180 on this website. So that should give you an idea of the prices that they're charging for the medication. He had suggested that I just get my, uh, 
I just get my, my prescription from my doctor and then just fax it to these guys and they'll mail me my medication. Which I may end up doing because <laughs> paying $200 is a lot, lot cheaper than $2,500. $2, so anyway, I'm on my way to the, the, uh, the library, as I said. And I thought it would be a bit of a change to bring you guys with me in my car rather than sit in my house and do this. That way I can kill two birds with one stone. Because as I was sitting in the house, you know, getting ready to get up and get moving for the day, I uh, started to feel the pokes of that depression coming back. So I thought it would be best to just be proactive, get out the door, you know, do the things I'm supposed to do that help prevent the depression. And hopefully it'll maintain the positive or the, 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 the better mindset that I'm in, which... I think you can hear the tone of my voice and my speech pattern. Aye. So the plan today is to go to the library, read for an hour or two, and after that, um, I don't know, usually what I end up doing is just going home. Um, I don't really have anywhere that I can go, so that's the thing. I mean, there are places to go, I suppose. But, uh, I don't know them. Uh, tomorrow, I go to the, uh, the Department of Rehabilitation, which is the, the, I'm assuming, the job search group. Now, like I said, this is an assumption. I don't know what these guys do. I just know that it was a suggestion by my, my uh, psychiatrist to contact these people and uh, have them work with me. So I'm assuming it has to do with uh, um, employment of some kind, which is good because when I checked Craigslist this morning, there wasn't anything I could apply to. So I guess I'm feeling okay with that considering that this, if this group is about employment, then I'm gonna be doing something about the employment tomorrow, or at least the starts of. And then Friday, I've got that other appointment that I have to go to that's, that uh, I got re referenced to by the, the, the Samaritan House, which is a place I went to for my medication as suggested by my therapist. I've got all these places that I'm going and stuff that I'm doing suggested by my therapist and my psychiatrist, and I have little to no information about them. So, go figure. Um, I just want to take a moment to say hello to all of the people out there that have thanked me for these videos. Um, I'm grateful that you're getting something from them. Uh, I'm glad that I'm able to help in some way. It's always a good thing to be able to help somebody else out. And I'm glad that I'm able to do that. So, um, thank you for watching the videos. and I'm glad that I'm able to help you in some fashion. If you have any questions or anything that you want to know, or you know any concerns, anything like that, just go ahead and leave a message or send me a PM, and I will be happy to respond to them. Uh, there's been I've gotten a couple more messages since the last time I've said something, so hello to all of you. Um, other than that, there's not much else going on with me. Uh, Almost uh, all the way to the, uh, <laughs> almost all the way to the library, and then I'm gonna read some. The book's coming along. I'm still about one fourth, two fifths, maybe. Well, I don't know, maybe not two fifths, but getting close to two fifths of the way through the book. And let me just say that uh, if you watch the Game of Thrones TV show. Season 3 ended about halfway through book 3. So, I have no idea what they're going to be doing in terms of, like, maintaining the, the plot. Because season 4 is not going to be book 4. There's no way in hell they could go from where they left off on season 3 to season 4 without leaving out a bunch of important stuff. And when I say important stuff, I mean important stuff, like serious storyline stuff. Uh, there's no way that they can just jump from book 3 to book 4 because book four takes, starts off after a bunch of stuff happened. And uh, it's the result of that stuff at the end of book three to book four. 
starts touching on. So there's no way for them to be able to just pick up and go to book four and have you all not go, what the hell? You know. So anyway, that's where I am. Now pulling into Mountain View as the sign on the side there says. If any of you have ever been into Mountain View, California, you know what I'm seeing right now. It's a suburban area, some nice housing and trees everywhere. Um, yeah, okay, well, I'm done blathering. This has been 10 minutes of me not talking about anything in particular. So I hope you're all doing well. I hope you're feeling good. Uh, I hope life is treating you good. If you have any questions or comments, please go. don't hesitate to leave them. I'll be happy to respond. And until next time, I guess I will talk to you all later.